Hello everyone, in this video you are going to learn how to install Zorin OS and finally after installation we are going to review about how it is and should you switch from Windows to Zorin OS in the first place. So before beginning what is Zorin OS? Zorin OS is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. It uses Genome 3 and XFCE for desktop environment by default. Although the desktop is heavily customized in order to help user transition from Windows and macOS easily. This operating system was initially released in July 1, 2009. So, Zorin OS is currently available into three versions of Zorin OS Pro, Core, and Lite. So, most of all, the Zorin OS uh, Pro is not free. It will cost you around $40 if you want, $48 if you want to purchase it. However, the Zorin OS Core and Lite they are completely free, and you can use them. Uh, without any problem. So here are the main differences between these Zorin OS Pro, Core and Lite. As you can see, the Office package is can be installed inside the Pro, Core and Lite. So if you are an Office geek or using it always, then it is good to go. Aside from that, here are the other details. For instance, if you are uh, look for the heavy premium desktop layouts of macOS, Windows 11, Windows Classic, Chrome OS or Genome 2 and Ubuntu, you'll have to go for Windows uh, sorry Zorin OS Pro otherwise you are good to go with the core so what are the system requirements to install these Zorin OS firstly you have to keep in mind that uh, a CPU of 1 gigahertz dual core or an Intel or AMD 64 bit processor is required an amount of RAM of 1.2 uh, or you can say one and a half GB of frame is required other than that 15 GB of storage if you are trying to install the Zorin OS core the uh, education version requires 24 GB of storage and then the Pro requires 40 GB of storage and then the display is 1024 by 768 resolution so aside for that to download the Zorin OS, you have to simply uh, go to Zorin OS uh, and then click on download and then you will be in this page. From here, you have to just simply download the latest version that you want. In my case, I'll be downloading Zorin OS Core for basic user and then just simply click on download free. Uh, if you want to subscribe to your email address, just go ahead and enter your email address. Otherwise, you have to simply click skip to download and it's going to start downloading the Zorin OS in your system. I have already downloaded so there is no need for me. So the second step after downloading the Zorin OS you have you must uh, attach uh, at least an RGB of USB flash drive to the computer in order to make it bootable. So keep in mind that uh, generally the size of the OS is around uh, 4 GB, a 4 GB USB will do. However, for convenience, it is recommended to use RGB or 16 GB of USB flash drive. Okay, after you attach the USB, you have to go ahead to this website called rufus.ie and download the latest version of this operating system. Other than that, you can use the CMD if you want it. However, I am not interested in using that. So from here, I'm going to download the rufus.exe, the portable version, which is available for Windows. Also, other than Rufus, you can always use the Belina Eacher to simply uh, create a bootable USB. Elena Butcher, Belina Butcher is available inside Linux and macOS too. So it is up to you if you are not uh, using the Rufus. In my case, I am really comfortable using the Rufus. Following that, go ahead and launch the Rufus. And from here, you make, make sure to select the USB flash drive. Click here to select the ISO of the Zorin OS that you have downloaded. In my case, that's available in the desktop. And then make sure to choose the partition scheme that your PC has. In my case, I'll be using the GPG. And then following that, you can choose the file system among the NTFS or FAT32. It is up to you. So once it is ready, click on start. Please keep in mind that uh, it is going to remove everything from within the USB. So make sure to take a backup of your files from the USB flash drive and then click OK. And again, click OK. And now it's going to create a partition. Uh, following that, it is going to copy the ISO inside the USB flash drive. Once it is done, we'll be back. The USB has been successfully created with the Zorin OS 
17 core. So for now, just go ahead, close it, shut down your computer. After creating a bootable USB Azure in OS, you have to simply go ahead and shut down the computer. And then make sure that you have attached the USB flash drive to the computer. Followed by that, you have to press the boot key of your computer once it is shut down. In my case, I am using a Lenovo, so the boot key is one key recovery. It is located around here. So as you can see, here is the uh, boot key of my Lenovo computer. So your PC's uh, boot key may be different, so you have to find that from the internet. So once that I have to press it, so as you can see, the PC is going to turn on. From here, all I have to do is select the boot menu or boot yes from here and then press enter and then from top you have to select the usb flash drive so it is the second one and now press enter from here it is going to boot from the usb flash drive that i have created a bootable usb of the zorin os uh, from here you have to choose try or install zorin os i will be selecting the very first option okay This is the interface to install the Zorin OS. From here, I will be pursuing the steps inside the VMware so the screen resolution should look very fine and you should not face any problem. After using Zorin OS, I have come to the following understanding. Okay, firstly, if you are looking to install any application, it has a Microsoft or so-called install that you can simply go ahead and search across it and download this, that application uh, and use that inside your computer. For instance, a Brave browser is a good example that I am already constantly using it in the Windows environment. Aside from that, the interface currently uh, it is the default Zorin OS layout and as you can see it looks like this so here you can see here is the start menu and when you click on it uh, you can see that it has the simplest layout of like Windows 7 uh, available here if you click on accessories you will see the other details following that at the bottom you will see the back button and you will see other application for instance they are categorized the office applications are available since they are open source the alternative of Microsoft Office, for instance, LibreOffice, LibreWriter, LibreDraw, LibreImpress, uh, and other softwares are available or they are pre-installed in this application. And sound and video application are also available here. Here you can see, if I have to simply click on a sound recorder, you will notice that the, this is the application and you can just simply go ahead and record video or you can play video uh, directly inside the Zorin OS. In that case, it is completely fine and good to go if you are just uh, using it for the daily purpose without using for the heavy work. So for instance, if I have to simply play this uh, video. Hello everyone, in this video you are going to learn how So as you can see, the video has now been played and everything is good to go. Aside from that, you can change the uh, appearance of the Zorin OS tool. If you open this uh, Zorin OS, you will notice 
that this is the current layout of the Zorin OS which comes with the Zorin OS core. However, if you are looking for other layouts of Windows, Chrome OS, uh, Mac OS, you can, uh, you must use the Zorin OS Pro which is I think around $40 which we saw at the beginning of this video. Aside from that, you can change the layout uh, currently as you can see. They are uh, putting each window into a separate application and then from here you can change or you can simply insert the uh, application into the center or you can always get the uh, macOS wipe here. However, I, I prefer the default uh, look of the Zorin OS. And the theme, if you go ahead, you can always choose uh, the uh, accent color and then you can choose the light and the dark mode or you can simply use 24 hours the dark mode if you prefer that. However, for now, I am interested in the light mode. Aside from that, if you go to the uh, desktop, from here you can just simply bring back the icons just like Windows if you are looking for them. Just simply, it is going to mount them or show those icons in the desktop. Talking about the settings, it is accessible from here. The start menu and then click on settings. It is going to open the settings application from you can, from here you can control everything that you are looking for. It is pretty much simple. Aside from that, in the right side, uh, if you click on the icon here, you will see that uh, this is a recorder button. If you click on it, you can directly uh, switch between photo or video. You can just simply go ahead, uh, capture a specific window of the screen and then you can use it on the daily purposes of screenshot and other stuff. So just simply click on it and the screenshot has been saved. If you click on it, it's going to open the uh, taken screenshot right away from there. So other than that, uh, here you can see this is a lock button, the power button, the Bluetooth, uh, and then the power setting features like balanced and other features. So coming to the most important uh, thing, if you are coming from a Windows environment into the uh, Zorin OS, it is it is not going to be quite easy for you specifically with the theme aside from that uh, the installing windows application linux is not capable of directly installing windows application however you can install it through the application called wine and then uh, for instance uh, i have downloaded this application called notepad plus plus if i have to simply click on it it is asking, uh, firstly, you're saying that an alternative of this application is available called install, uh, sorry, Notepad Next. You can just directly click install not, not, uh, Notepad Next. It's going to download that from the software or from the store. However, if you are looking to directly install the Windows app support, you have to simply click on it. Uh, firstly, the Vine, it is going to take you to the uh, software uh, here and from here you can just simply go ahead and install the Vine uh, Windows app support to by which it's going to install the Windows application and then for, uh, each time you open the application it is going to open the Windows app through the Windows app support. However, the Vine application is not quite responsive because most of the time, firstly the installation process is a little bit hard because the software application is not going to work quite well. Since I have tried it every time, uh, alternatively, alternatively I came to the position to install the uh, Vine application using the terminal. Aside from that, in the documentation of the Vine app support at the beginning when you for the first time when you open it, it is saying that uh, it is not quite capable to run every Windows application. For instance, I tried installing uh, Adobe Photoshop, it was not really helpful. And then I also tried installing Microsoft Office and it was not really helpful because it's saying that uh, it could be uh, wine problem, so wine capability problem. So it is not really quite clear. So in that term, it is not quite helpful. So you can, if we should talk about the wine application in terms of the uh, a rating I am going to give it around four because sometimes it is responsive and sometimes it is not responsive. So this is the general review of this application. So should you switch to Zorin OS or no? In my case, if you are coming, if your system is an all open system, 
you have to definitely switch to the Zorino S since it is very light. It works uh, with uh, two GB of RAM, one point half GB of RAM, quite well, quite perfectly, without any problem. The other end of the solution problem is that if you are coming from the Windows environment, uh, for each little work that you are doing, it requires update since that is the uh, action of the Linux. However, if you are coming from other platforms like Ubuntu, Linux itself it is not going to give you quite a hard time or even if you are coming from the uh, macOS environment, it is not going to give you quite a hard, a hard time at all because it is really comfortable. It is not going to use a lot of resources and resources. It is quite clean, quite enough and uh, it is very simple to use. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Do not forget to subscribe hit the like button and let me know your thought if you have used the Zorin OS yourself uh, in the comment section about it. So for now, have a nice day and goodbye.